Dinette Ease with Carbohydrate Counting. <laughs> My mom knew that we were going out, so she made some cake and chocolate pie. My mom prepared a salad and sandwiches. Have a piece. My mom made two. It's okay. I'll just eat my salad. Why not? It's really good. <laughs> Hi, sugar up. Nice to see you again. Hee <laughs> Hi. Lila looks delicious. Why don't you have some? I'm okay. I'm not interested anyway. <laughs> you're saying that while you're drooling all over the ground. Don't make stuff up. You can eat some if you really want. Do remember to measure your blood sugar level before and after, okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, no <gasps> need to check your blood sugar for a small <sighs> bite. <laughs> Just kidding. You deserve more than a little bite. You have to do carbohydrate counting to figure out how many units of insulin you need for a whole piece of cake. Tell me, what is carbohydrate counting? Different foods raise blood sugar at different rates. Carbohydrates are the fastest and the amount you eat is also relevant. So if you know how many carbohydrates this cake contains, you can calculate how much insulin you need to take. That's carbohydrate counting. For example, this 100 grams piece of cake contains 56.9 grams of carbohydrates. Next, we can calculate by using the insulin to carb ratio, IC ratio, which means the number of grams of carbohydrates that can be counteracted by per unit of pre-meal insulin. I have calculated that your insulin to carb ratio is 20. In other words, you need to take one unit of fast-acting insulin for every 20 grams of carbohydrates to maintain a stable blood sugar level. So if you want to eat this cake that has 56.9 grams of carbohydrates, you have to take three units of fast-acting insulin. Just a simple calculation. So easy. But how did you find out my, uh, insulin to carb ratio? Don't worry. Regarding the insulin to carb ratio calculation methods and the insulin sensitivity factor, you can scan this QR code to learn more. But first, enjoy this cake. Awesome! Now I can eat without worrying. But there is a classmates reunion soon. I bet my classmates will think I'm weird if I calculate everything before eating. Oh. I guess I shouldn't join them. No, no, no! You should go! You can go with Tian Tian together. Of course, you'll have to say no to certain things, such as sugary beverages. You can say no to to teeth problem. Can you do that? Sure I can. Anyway, Tian Tian will also help you, right? Don't worry, Lola. I'll be there with you. But what should I do? You can help remind Lola to take a smaller portion before he tries something new and remind him to check blood sugar levels. Mm -hmm. You can count on me, sugar up. I'll help. I'm sure Tian Tian will look after you when I'm away. Yay! <laughs> you don't need to avoid funny activities afterwards. Just remember to keep logging all the data. If you keep a detailed journal and address timely, with more experience, you'll never have to worry about dining out with friends. Understood. I'll start keeping a journal from today. I'll call it... My sweet diary. Alrighty, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs>